regards to the building, we've got a number of elements that we, that we took into consideration when the building was, uh, was built. First of all, um, great design. The architect behind it, uh, Eric Lockie um, from Kenya, built a building that had a very low impact uh, uh, carbon footprint in the country and it's, and it's through a number of areas. So the shape of the, of the roof, and the roof was basically designed to um, bring the two buildings together because they're two separate towers. Um, but, it, but besides that, it allowed us the opportunity to use um, um, false photovoltaic cells on the, on the roof to generate our, our own power. The same amount of power that about uh, 38 to 40 houses would use. Um, that's how much power it produces per day. Um, the building is, com is uh, made with uh, local products. Like if you, send, you can see granite from um, our suppliers here in Nyagatare, East African Granite. And uh, the bricks are from uh, Ruliba, Ruliba bricks, which is uh, close to like a few kilometers from our site. So the design concept was using the local material and um, tried to have a concept that is Rwandan made. It was a special brick that was designed for us um, by Reliba Bricks. That has an impact in terms of it absorbs the heat and dissipates it when it's uh, cooler in the evening. So it means your temperature fluctuations are, are, moder are modulated. Then we have the, the design of the building itself and the fact that you have concave, um, concave um, windows um, on both sides of the building, especially on the side that tracks the sun, which means that the pillars in between the windows create shadows. So although we get um, good lighting, the impact of the heat on the windows is reduced because of the shadows that are cast by the, by the pillars that are between the, between the glass. So that too reduces the amount, which means there's a reduction in um, the energy consumption within the building. The building is free-flowing, um, with air circulating throughout, through, through louvers, which means that although we have put air conditioners in, um, just uh, as, a, as a precaution, the building can run without air conditioners, which means it will be a, a massive a cost savings. Once again, going back to the roof design, the roof design also allows for um, us to collect water, the whole, the whole is roof. captured from here. Yes. From the roof? From here. Yes. No, collected from here and then we have... Let me and then let me. taken to... There will be a system mm -hmm. called roof siphonic drainage. We've installed a siphonic drainage system which sucks the water off the roof and because of the volumes of water that we've calculated will be uh, collected during the rainy seasons, we have a, a water tank which has sufficient capacity and a water treatment plant. So although we only we about 40% efficient from an energy utilization, water we 100% um, uh, efficient from a uh, from a use of the pot of potable water. Then the in the installation for the the building itself, we have also um, tried to use as much use of natural light. And then we have facilities in place which switch lights off automatically in certain areas which are not being used. So they uh, sensor uh, sensor based lights, and that also reduces the the the, the amount of of power that we uh, that we're using. On the elevator system that we've that we've installed, it has an intelligent system to work out um, which elevator should go to which floor. So it also uses uh, uh, lower, uh, a lower power consumption. So, so all told, all of those between the water, the design of the building itself, the fact that the roof is open, the atrium, it's um, like the houses that you have, that you'll see in, um, in North Africa. We have a, a central um, atrium uh, with airflow in, internally. The roof, the, the top of the roof is open. It creates... Um, a, a cooler climate in, uh, than outside and that then will also go towards cooling the building. Um, we have uh, five floors that, the, that will ba the bank will be using and we'll use that rooftop top terrace for uh, uh, staff, um, uh, staff canteen, 
a recreation area and, uh, and a pause area. Especially dedicated to the bank uh, employees and, uh, and staff. As you can see, we have um, local materials. This is uh, also made in Rwanda from a company called Stonecraft. Yes, so basically the, the bank boardroom will be on the roof and oh, they'll have really? yes yeah. that okay. space and they'll have they'll have a kitchen uh, the staff kitchen in, in inside the floors and people will come and be for for lunch breaks and everything here on the on the terrace, on the terrace. yeah wow. there's also provision which was uh, a good a great idea mm. of having a mother's room into the building mothers mothers room into the building if maybe um, a mother who wants to take care of her baby during, during lunch break and everything, she can have uh, her own private place. Uh, no, no apartment. The, the five floors will be the bank, and then eight floors will be let to commercial, yeah. The value of the building, I think when we finish to now, given the modern prices, will be roughly in the region of about uh, between 20 and 24 billion um, francs. When the cars are getting inside, Instead of a um, security person to come and with a mirror around the car, we'll have an underground scanner, ah. which will scan the whole building, I mean the whole, the whole car, and then release it to get into the basement. This will also facilitate to reduce the traffic uh, at the entrance.